Hello dear children today we will do exercise 5.4 of unit 5 that is common fractions now let's do the next question that is subtract the following here in this question we will apply the same method but the only thing is that here we have to subtract so let's do the first sum that is sum number 13 11 by 17 minus 5 by 17 here the denominators are same so we'll take the common denominator that is 17 and we will subtract the numerators so 11 minus 5 is 6 and the denominator is 17 now we have to see that whether we can reduce this fraction to its lowest terms or it is already in its lowest terms so here it is already in the lowest terms so now we have to see whether it is a proper fraction or an improper fraction so it's a proper fraction because the numerator is smaller so 6 by 17 will be the answer now let's do the second one 7 by 12 minus 3 by 12 so again the denominators are same so we will take the common denominator that is 12 and let us subtract the numerators so 7 minus 3 the answer is 4 and here the denominator is 12 so now can we reduce this fraction to its lowest terms yes this can be reduced okay so 4 ones are 4 and 4 threes are 12 now 1 by 3 is the answer and it's a proper fraction so the answer will be written as it is that is 1 by 3 now the next part is part number 15 that is 1 by 3 minus 1 by 4. So again now we can see here that the denominators are different. So here we have to apply the another method that is we have to take LCM of the denominators that is 3 and 4. Now let us take the LCM here 3 and 4. So we will take the smallest prime number. So 3 will be written as it is and 2 2s are 4. Again we will take 2. So 2 ones are 2. Now we will take 3. 3 ones are 3 and here we have 1. Now let us multiply these prime numbers. That is 2 into 2 into 3. So 2 twos are 4. 4 threes are 12. Our LCM is 12. Now that we have got the LCM. Now we have to make both the denominators of the given fractions equal to the LCM that is 12. So first of all let us take 1 by 3. Now we have to multiply the denominator by a number so that we can get 12. So we will multiply it by 4. So the numerator will also get multiplied by the same number. So here we will have 4 by 12. Now let us take the second one that is 1 by 4. Now let us multiply the denominator by a number so that we can get the denominator equal to 12. So 4 3s are 12. Numerator will also get multiplied by the same number. So here we have 3 by 12. Now we have got both the fractions and both are like fractions. Now we can subtract them. So 4 by 12 minus 3 by 12. So here we have same denominators. So what we can do? We can have common denominator and we can subtract the numerators so we'll get 4 minus 3 1 and the denominator is 12 so the answer is 1 by 12 and this is a proper fraction and we cannot reduce it further to its lowest terms because it is already in the lowest terms now let us do the next one sum number 17 1 by 8 minus 1 by 12 again the denominators are different so we have to take the lcm so let us take LCM of 8 and 12. So here we will take the LCM of 8 and 12. So both are even numbers. So we will take the smallest prime number. 2 4s are 8, 2 6s are 12. Again we will take 2 because 2 2s are 4 and 2 3s are 6. Again we will take 2, 2 1s are 2 and 3 will remain as it is. Now we will take 3. 1 and 3 ones are 3. Now we'll multiply all these prime numbers. 2 into 2 into 2 into 3. So what is the LCM? 2 twos are 4, 4 twos are 8 and 8 threes are 24 is the LCM. Now we have to make both the denominators of the given fractions equal to 24. So let us take the first one that is 1 by 8. 
now we have to multiply the denominator 8 by 3 to make it equal to 24 so numerator will also get multiplied by the same number so we'll have 8 threes are 24 and it is 3 by 24 now let us take the second one that is 1 by 12 so here we'll multiply the denominator 12 by 2 to make it equal to 24 so numerator will also get multiplied by 2 so here we have 2 by 20 4. Now we have got both the fractions which are like. So let us subtract them. 3 by 24 minus 2 by 24. Okay. Now we will take the common denominator that is 24 and we will subtract the numerators. So we have 1 by 24 which is a proper fraction and it is in its lowest terms. So we cannot reduce it further. Now the last part of this question 1 by 4 minus 1 by 18 again both the denominators are different so we need to take LCM. So let us do that LCM of 4 and 18 is so let us take the LCM here 4 and 18 both are even numbers so we will take the smallest prime number 2 2s are 4 2 9s are 18 again we will take 2 2 1s are 2 and 9 as it is now we will take 3 1 and 3 3s are 9 again 3 1 and 1 now let us multiply these prime numbers 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 so 2 2s are 4 4 3s are 12 and 12 3s are 36 so lcm is 36 now let us make the denominators of the given fractions 36 so we'll take the first one 1 by 4 so we have to multiply 4 by 9 to make it 36 so numerator will also get multiplied by the same number so we'll have 9 by 36 now next 1 by 18 so we will multiply the denominator 18 by 2 so numerator will also get multiplied by 2 so we'll have 2 by 36 now we have got both the fractions which are like so let us subtract them first fraction minus second fraction so the denominators are same now we'll take the common denominator that is 36 and we will subtract the numerators so 9 minus 2 is 7 and the denominator is 36 and this cannot be reduced further so uh, this is already in its lowest terms and this is a proper fraction so our final answer is 7 by 36. let's call it in the crossfire <laughs>